The third tip that we have to help you supercharge your step one prep is to do less each day. Now, I know what you're thinking sounds counterintuitive, <laughs> of course. The metaphor that I like to use when I, I tell students to actually do less, first of all, do less also means simplify. Let's yep. say we are going to climb Mount Everest. If you think about climbing Mount Everest, what do you think? You probably, first of all, think this is insane and you think and you feel overwhelmed because what you're thinking is I have so much to Oof. do, but how do you climb a Mount Everest or a, a mountain that would be twice the size of Mount Everest? One step at a time. You can't yeah. get 30 steps ahead. You have to do one step at a time. And so when we say do less each day, this means that we need to focus on one goal a day. So let's just say for the sake of argument, today my goal is to master renal anatomy. Now, if Beautiful. other students will say, I got to do this and this and this and this, and what happens is you get so obsessed with the end goal, which is maybe three months away, that you are so disturbed in your thought process that you can't do one thing. So you're worried yeah. about everything, and that means you can't do anything. And this is really important, right? You have to be able to focus on one thing. And if you do that one thing perfectly, taking that first step up the mountain, awesome. Now we take the second and we take the third perfectly, the fourth. So let's say our goal today is just, we want to master renal anatomy, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to create a strategy every day for how to master the one topic. So maybe I'm going to spend one hour reading my BRS book. This is just an example. I'm going to spend one hour in the morning reviewing or reading through my BRS book for renal anatomy. Then I'm going to do a block of questions. Then I'm going to take two hours and I'm going to slowly go through the questions and make sure that the things I got right, I got right for the right reason. And the things I got wrong, I document and maybe even take some notes. And then there it is you have, let's say another, and then you take a break and then you do another block, same strategy. And then at the end of the day, maybe you review everything, all the notes you took for the day. And then at the end of that day, maybe then you review whatever you did the day previous, the re-review. And if you look at it that way, it sounds like you're not doing a lot, but if you're trying to do all of anatomy in one day or all of renal in one day, you got anatomy, histo, phys, path, you're never going to master anything. You're going to expose yeah. yourself to everything, but you won't master everything. And the goal here is master. And so if we were to break down everything we need to know, let's say every system to embryo, anatomy, histo, path, farm, physio, that would be, let's say six days to master an entire topic. Okay. Well, that sounds like a lot, but the alternative is I'm going to do all of renal today. And then you do it haphazardly and you don't really know it. And then in two months, Renal is a big weakness on NBMEs. Well, it's because you didn't take the time. So what you want to yeah. do is do less, have one major goal a day, and then have a simple two to three steps you're going to take every day to master that topic. If you simplify and make sure that every single day is executed to perfection, then you're going to have a lot less to worry about down the road because A, you're going to have taken the time to really master it. But B, if you're doing the note taking, like I mentioned, every single day, that one hour at the end of the day, you've got your, your index cards and you're going to continue to re-review. So we come back yep. to the re-review and then that time you put in today to master renal, renal anatomy is going to be reviewed tomorrow and then the next day and the next day. So you don't have to ever come back to doing renal anatomy. You're just going to do it once perfectly and then throw it into your re-review. And then the next day you're going to do renal, uh, embryo and histology. And then the next day, renal phys. And then the next day, renal path. And you just take one step at a time. Make sure you're on solid ground, right? You want, don't want to just do something. For example, if you're climbing that mountain, you want to make sure you look and you have a spot where you can confidently plant your foot that can carry your weight to the next level. Same thing with your every single day. You outline the steps you're going to take to master that one topic for the day. And if you keep it simple like this, you're going to slowly chip away at that mountain. You're going to get to the top and you're going to be where you need to be. You're not going to slide down because uh, you weren't on solid footing. You're not going to, you know, miss grab a rock that wasn't really, um, you know, well planted into the mountain. You're going to do everything correctly because you're aiming to do one thing perfectly at a time. Do less, you will achieve more. 
I think many students out there get、uh, bored with staying on one system or topic. That's what I've、sure. seen many, many times happen. And、yep. they're, they're over it. They go, I want to do this. I'm going to do three systems a day. I get bored of this. I'm going to jump here, jump here, jump there. And I simply say, well, you could jump around all you want. But you're, you're half fasting things. You're not really you're、yep. not doing it all you know, in, in, in order. And then what's going to happen is that foundation is going to crack under stress and pressure. That's all. It's like painting you know, five, six rooms in a house. Instead of taking one at a time, one room each time, you know, day by day, you're painting an hour here, an hour there, an hour there. Family, friends are coming over. You're working hard. You're sweating. You know, your wrists are hurting you, but the rooms aren't complete. So because of that, You haven't produced a product, right? And you're all over the place. That's why many students go, I want to jump around because I'm bored. Bored? Take the chance and opportunity to focus one by one. Because when they give you a question about anatomy and embryology, you're going to get, get in trouble, right? And then those points add up to not passing it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So take it step by step. You have to. I know it's painful. I know it's stressful. It's not fun. It's not a Netflix movie or you know, things you want to read. But this is for your future, right? This is the foundations are built to CK, to residency, to step three, and so on. Yeah, yeah. You have to put the time in, guys. You have to put the time in. There you go. I like the room analogy. Put in a lot of work,、yeah. but it could look like a garbage. Yeah. If you guys like that clip, I've got another one for you up here. Or if you want to watch the entire episode, check out this video right here.